Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about network equipment, interface monitoring in particular. So if you have a router, a switch, a firewall appliance, this might be applicable to you. And the use case for interface monitoring will be uh, sometimes we have uh, speed, a uh, very defined speed uh, for a port or a virtual like port. And uh, this speed is very tied inside the device. Like device thinks this is the throughput capabilities of this interface, but turns out like uh, some like the equipment which is connected to that port is uh, not supporting so big throughput. And then we need to introduce an override. And I will share quite elegant solution how easy it is to uh, like introduce our uh, override you clearly know like this is not the throughput capabilities you know better than device how to implement such template okay um the journey starts with the official template uh, this is like uh, from vendor and um, i will like my recommendation if you do modify something then uh, better to clone it before uh, so uh, in case we import later the templates, then uh, nothing is lost in this process. Uh, okay, so I'm cloning the template and now uh, searching my work over here. Let's do the implementation. Uh, I will start to remind ourselves that uh, inside the 6.4, 7.0, 7.2, we have uh, bulk data collection in the modern templates. We so we have uh, these uh, so-called walk items, which does uh, like everything in one go. Uh, so every one minute, uh, we will walk device and uh, feed all the items. Like uh, all the counters will be read uh, and uh, speed, throughput, errors. Uh, all that goes into this uh, bulk request and. Uh, this is getting very useful if you have SNMP version 3, then when we think about encrypting traffic, decrypting, then this is super efficient for Zabbix and also for device. We can save so much CPU on uh, on this method uh, and yeah, the device will be happy. So this is the start of uh, this um, mechanism. We does the bulk data collection every one minute. And then uh, inside the official template, we have also dependent items. So this reads the inputs from that uh, one minute item. And inside item prototypes, we have a standardized like interface monitoring. This is uh, not only for Microptic, this is almost for every equipment. Uh, so even if you have different equipment, most likely it's using same OIDs as in this tutorial. Uh, so the first thing uh, in this um, thing, uh, like the use case usually is uh, I want to see the utilization of interface, uh, which is not really covered out from the box. To do so, we need to create an calculated item. I will do that right away, opening by another tab. Inside another tab, uh, let's clone like some item, clone, and switch this item to calculated item. Uh, the calculated item will be percentage and the item key will be net if util. It's like a in self uh, in free form. And here I will in the name also write utilization. Uh, the tags will remain the same. So it's marking for mark like for alias and name. The preprocessing goes away. And uh, inside here, uh, since utilization is uh, measured in percentage, then units is percentage and the actual formula field. Uh, what we need to do is take 100, divide by speed. Uh, let's let's put all the formula last, uh, uh, do times forward slash, and then will come special va value. Multiply by, and I will put parentheses over here, and last again, uh, put here over and plus last and uh, two times forward slash. And uh, so we need three data points for input. This will be speed. This will be um, input. Uh, I mean, like bits received and bits sent. And I will open another tab and grab those metrics. Speed. Uh, this is the speed. 
putting it after second forward slash okay uh, going the picking up the throughput bits received okay uh, putting putting in over here and uh, the bits sent over here and I will put it here okay yeah this is the formula uh, this will generate like the utilization based what is the speed and uh, the speed is like the device thinks itself like well, what uh, is the speed but sometimes uh, the device thinks wrong and uh, we, we will need like an override so this is the first uh, like item add uh, now I have a completely new item let's create a like let's apply this masterpiece to a host object my micro tick click and update and uh, yeah it will start to collect very soon uh, in the 7.0 version uh, when we apply the template the data collection all the discoveries will happen in the very next 20 seconds and we will have like a lot of items uh, let's uh, do that final patch like how uh, how to redefine if the speed is different and for that my idea is to inject something inside this item uh, like this is the item which reads the OID which tells like that it tells the truth what is the speed what device thinks the speed is and we will inject something here and um, to do so uh, one thing is like um, working with I mean we will define like a flag uh, a flag at the template level if we open the macro I will kind of like come up with the flag which will be called something like uh, here net interface and interface uh, speed and the flag will be zero uh, and my idea here is if it's zero let's do nothing let's not change anything if, if the flag is zero uh, because we will like operate with the context uh, later on and if there is no context let's do nothing okay so this is the default flag and um, okay uh, and update so it's uh, installed in the template and now like editing the speed uh, wh what I like about this solution a lot uh, is that I'm fi fixing this thing in the very roots like this is uh, uh, item which is responsible about reading the real speed of device and this very item is actually used in calculated item over here so if I fix the problem in the very roots and, and by fix I mean um, introduce a patch a, a very serious override uh, then like I, uh, I don't need to think about like how this item works because it will work correctly uh, already uh, because the speed is different okay so how to introduce that override uh, we will visit pre-processing and of course the most powerful language in the Zabbix JavaScript now I will use the cheat sheet and this is my solution let's explain it later uh, and so here what it does I, I will just apply and uh, remove this discard unchanged to speed up everything so uh, at the beginning like it reads the OID of the actual speed the the truth what the device thinks the speed is and as a last pre-processing step we come up with this flagging uh, if the, there is like uh, zero context the it will do nothing like it will blindly report the value which was in the previous step like the previous step is like walking the value uh, multiply multiplication and it will execute the line number two do nothing report the value as is but if the user defines the context and uh, hopefully user like uh, says like it's not zero it is like different speed then like report actually what the user did define like it, it is a quite brutal override but this JavaScript will trick will do okay apply and apply okay so now it's running and uh, the device the uh, template is running on the actual device uh, and uh, the JavaScript pre-processing will 
uh, distribute very soon. Uh, I can start to explore the items here. Uh, search for something like speed, apply, and uh, here you go. Uh, speed and if we visit the pre-processing it's not yet applied uh, it will be applied like soon in the um, next discovery cycle and I just remembered I made a mistake that uh, to speed up discovery uh, we can discovery uh, visit network interfaces pre-processing and like here discard unchanged uh, with heartbeat uh, so otherwise we need to wait one hour but for the sake of demo let's remove it update and I remember another mistake uh, or, or improvement. Uh, it is inside the network uh, prototypes, the utilization. And uh, since we are taking 100 and dividing by speed, uh, sometimes this part resolves to zero and 100 divided by zero is disaster. So if we want to like make a beautiful zero on screen, uh, we can do that by introducing check for not supported value. If it's not like if we suddenly divide by zero, then let's reset that error to actual like zero. Update. Uh, visiting the ho uh, like items at the host level. Uh, now probably the JavaScript is replicated. If we search it over here, speed, click. And here you go. Like it's not, um, it's our custom solution. And you see here is the context. Like uh, it is reading my alias of my um, router, and uh, we will come to that, come back to that in a moment. Uh, now, exploring the data, uh, monitoring latest data, and uh, we have like speed um, here. And let's close this filter. And here's what I'm talking about. Like I have a device uh, with eight ports and each port is having support for some sort of throughput. And uh, this is the number for the throughput. And like in case I know, uh, like the link is connected to something slower and there is no way to have such throughput. So I want to override this position. And to do so from this page, it's super easy. Uh, we click on item name, which I care to override. Click, uh, click items, visit pre-processing, visit this step. And I'm copying this macro to clipboard. You see this macro uh, is having context. Uh, it's having context for my very specific, specific interface, copy cancel over here, cancel over here. And from the same page, we can click on the host object hosts and come up with this override from the clipboard. So I want to uh, the speed, the link for this interface to be limited to like, um, this is the default value, uh, like 1 billion or something. Uh, let's have it like shrink down to something like this. Uh, for Zotac. Okay, update. And so I just installed a macro at the host level. Uh, my device is co uh, connected to a proxy server. Hopefully it will not take long for the proxy server to pick up that new macro. Uh, so right now I have uh, all ports are uh, targeting one gigabit per second. If we refresh the page, um, refresh. And uh, not yet. Ah, one minute, maybe in the next five seconds it will be there. Refresh. And voila, like the gigabit just shrunk uh, to 20 megabits per second. And the beauty of this is like we have this Zotac thing. Uh, if we check the utilization, like this was the calculated item. And the calculated item, if we check the formula, it's using like the speed over here and it will read the value what the user told so, uh, what is the override, and um, we still, like at the end of the day, we have a nice uh, percentage, what is the busyness of pipes, uh, or what is the, like, yeah, which pipe takes the most uh, throughput. Um, 
Okay, uh, as a last best practice, like if you really reproduce this uh, tutorial from scratch, don't forget to put back the discard unchanged uh, discovery rules. Uh, we have uh, network discovery. Uh, I removed this discard unchanged just for to speed up the um, like discovery. So this is the best practice to to run it like this. Update yes. Uh, that is everything for this video. If you find it helpful, useful, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.